When conducting a literature review, a well-planned search strategy is crucial to ensure that you find the most relevant studies. A search strategy is a combination of terms, keywords, and filters designed to help you retrieve the most relevant articles from databases. Here are the main search strategies you can use, keywords and synonyms. Identify important terms that represent the main concepts of your research question. Think about synonyms, abbreviations, and variations of these keywords, Boolean operators, and use AND to combine different concepts. This narrows down the search and retrieves results containing all the search terms, or use or to search for any of the given terms. This broadens the search and includes articles that mention at least one of the terms, not use not to exclude certain concepts or terms from your search. Use it cautiously, as it may exclude relevant articles, truncation and wildcards. Truncation uses symbols, usually an asterisk, to find different forms of a word. Wildcards, e.g., for spelling variations, allow you to include alternative spellings or forms of words in the search, subject headings, use controlled vocabulary, like MeSH in PubMed or EMTRE in Embase, to search for articles using specific subject terms assigned to relevant articles. These terms ensure more consistent results. Phrases and proximity searching use quotation marks to search for exact phrases. Proximity searching allows you to find words in close relation to each other, e.g., public health within three words of policy. Cited reference searching. This strategy allows you to find papers that have cited a key article or research paper, which can lead you to important related studies. Applying search strategies to a research topic, let's take a sample research topic, the impact of social media use on adolescent mental health, to structure your research question using the PICO framework, break it down into the following components, population, adolescence, intervention, social media use, comparison, if applicable, outcome, mental health, e.g., depression, anxiety, well-being, regardless of the database you are using, such as PubMed or Google Scholar, it is essential to adjust the following settings, choose the appropriate timeline according to your research requirements, select the option for free full text to ensure access to articles without any paywalls. For literature reviews, meta-analyses, review articles, and systematic reviews are generally the most beneficial article types. Now let's do some practical examples. Using keywords and synonyms, so, our topic is the impact of social media use on adolescent mental health. Start by identifying your main concepts, social media, adolescent, and mental health. Think of synonyms. Social media could also be Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, online platforms. Adolescent could be teenagers, youth, teens, Mental health could be psychological well-being, mental disorders, depression, anxiety, search, social media and adolescent and mental health, this will pull studies focusing on social media use and mental health in adolescents. Search, Instagram and adolescent mental health, this narrows your search to a specific social media platform, Instagram, and its relation to adolescent mental health. Using Boolean operators, use AND, OR, not to narrow or broaden your search results based on the concepts involved, search, social media and adolescent and mental health, returns results where all three concepts are present, search, Facebook or Instagram and adolescent and depression, expands results to include both Facebook and Instagram, using MeSH terms, PubMed, using MeSH, medical subject headings, terms ensures that you're searching using standardized, Controlled vocabulary, which will help you get the most relevant and comprehensive results. On PubMed, I will begin by searching for MeSH terms related to my topic. I will include terms like social media, and since internet addiction disorder is highly relevant, I will add it to the search builder. From there, I can use Boolean operators such as AND, OR, or NOT to refine my search. Next, I will search for mental health and add it to the search builder, followed by adolescent. Once all the terms are added, I will click on Search PubMed to retrieve articles that match these criteria. The results will provide highly relevant articles. Additionally, I can further filter the results by timeline, availability of free text, and other options to narrow down the findings effectively. Truncation and wildcards, 
truncation, using the asterisk symbol, and wildcards, like the question mark, allow you to search for multiple variations of a word at once, search, adolescent and mental health. This will capture all variations of the term adolescent in relation to mental health, search, depress, and youth. This broadens the search to include various forms of the term depression and youth, phrases and proximity searching. If you are looking for exact phrases or proximity between terms, use quotation marks or proximity operators, search. Social media and adolescent mental health finds articles where this specific phrase appears, search, mental health ADJ3 social media. This search finds articles where the two terms are closely related. The ADJ3 operator will find mental health and social media within three words of each other, helping you find more relevant articles. Cited reference searching. Find a key article in your area of interest and explore which other studies have cited it. This strategy is effective for uncovering newer research based on seminal works. Search for an influential paper like social media use and its impact on adolescent mental health, an umbrella review of the evidence. Click on Cited by in Google Scholar to explore newer papers that have referenced this work. By using these strategies, you can tailor your searches to retrieve the most relevant and comprehensive articles related to your research question. Keep adjusting the search terms and combinations based on the results to ensure you're capturing the breadth of research on this topic. Like and subscribe for future helpful videos.